if you want to be a Salesforce administrator, I'll tell you what they do they, uh, for day-to-day -day activities. Salesforce administrator is a good job. Um, if you want to be, there are a lot of training and certifications. Um, one thing they do is they do user management. Second one, data management. Uh, third item they do most of the time security and the fourth one actionable analytics um, of the system. So let's go to um, Salesforce and uh, what they explore what they do in uh, for user management. You go to setup in the quick find box. You enter users here. You want to add users, deactivate users, and you have to change the users. So most of the time for user management, you come here, um, you add new users here. You add first name, last name, email address, and role profile and everything. And, um, and then you deactivate existing users. Um, if they are no longer working for your company or your project, that's what you do. You have to deactivate, you have to free up licenses. Um, uh, so sometimes users cannot log in. They have to, you have to request, reset the passwords. You can add multiple users here at the same time. The next item they do is the Salesforce administrators do data management. Uh, I don't do any uh, demo on data loader, but um, if you uh, go to Salesforce website and you can search and you can install a data loader, what data, lo lo data loader does is upload data to the Salesforce, you can extract data, import and export data, you can do both uh, with CSV files. Uh, so data loader plays a major role in Salesforce administrators activities. Um, if you go, go here, you can do data related acti activities on Salesforce itself, on the Salesforce data interface itself. Um, you can do data export here. You can request a data export from the uh, um, Salesforce itself for backups and for analytics. Um, the second one is the security. Um, when it comes to the security, um, Salesforce users ensure that the security is enforced. You have to give the minimum level of uh, permission to users, bare minimum. You have to give only the permissions to do what users want to, want to do nothing more, nothing less. And then you have to understand the security model of the uh, um, Salesforce, object level security and the record level security. We have uh, org wide defaults and then sharing rules and so forth. You have to understand it. Um, uh, the uh, other thing uh, they do is analytics. You have to do um, create reports and then update reports. Uh, these days, Salesforce uh, CRM analytics play a major role there. They use Einstein. It used to be Einstein. Um, the, uh, I don't do a demo on Salesforce CRM, this is a high level uh, of uh, features what self, um, Salesforce administrators do. Um, so, so analytics 
play a major role and the um, other thing you have to be familiar with the developer console you you use the developer console uh, to run a SQL queries here SQL means SQL query like SQL query it is native to Salesforce um, you can open um, Salesforce classes triggers and you have to understand what triggers classes and pages the visual force pages are um, the um, most of the time Salesforce administrators go to object manager they add new fields sometimes you don't do directly in the production but you have to um, uh, do uh, in sandboxes lower regions and then you promote with chain sets or copado or with any other uh, deployment tool um, if, I mean the count object um, you sometimes you need you have a requirements to change and field you can add a help text here tooltip or change the um, data uh, data type here for example this is the uh, if you go to account field and relationship uh, this is a pick list and this is the uh, text you have a requirement to change text to increase the length of the uh, field put text this has nine can take nine characters and we are to increase 10 characters those um, uh, items do not go to uh, usually developers sales administrators do they do lower region and promote to pro production um, don't do directly in the production uh, keep the paper trail and you should, should be tested in the lower region sandbox or dev or uad and um, staging that's important um, you have to understand what page layouts are uh, um, and then uh, uh, you have to understand everything about objects objects are tables in relational database theory an object stores records when you define an object it's pretty much like that you define a, a table in database on on top of that you create roles there are records so that's how it works how it works salesforce behind the scene uses um uh, oracle database you don't have to uh do sql queries but it does it on behalf of you for soccer queries so um the, yeah so if you go to setup and you type company here most of the time uh you have information about your company over here uh, about the user licenses as a Salesforce administrator, I go to this page to get the idea of how many licenses I have used, how many uh, are free. If you don't have license, you have to procure from Salesforce. You have to buy, or you have to free up licenses and uh, run the reports. The users who haven't logged in for like. For last three months and ask them do you really use salesforce if not you deactivate and free up licenses licenses are expensive um, these are the same as permission set licenses this is these are for salesforce analytics crm analytics if these feature licenses um you fiscal years you Initially, you had uh, you create fiscal year. Sometimes you don't have to work with. There's a requirement to change it. Sometimes the fiscal year, 
as a Salesforce administrator. Um, Salesforce administrator is a very important role in Salesforce um, uh, project. Salesforce admin solve business problems by customizing the Salesforce platform. They build, configure, and automate technology solution to deliver business value. Core responsibility including supporting users, managing data, maintain security standards and delivering actionable analytics. So this is a very high level um, introduction I sent, uh, it's said about Salesforce administrator. Um, um, so if you want to be a Salesforce um, administrator, first thing you have to go to Trailhead dot salesforce.com and then you there are tons of uh, videos and trailheads uh, you can use to learn um, and there is a uh, salesforce certifications uh, uh, there's a salesforce certification for salesforce administrator i strongly encourage you doing that uh, is a basic certification for Salesforce administrator and there is a one after that called Salesforce certified advanced administrator you can do both as a Salesforce administrator um, you should have good communication skills problem solving skill and then security management skill data analytics skill and the designer mindsets and process automation skills and project management skills as a data as a uh, Salesforce administrator um, you have to uh, uh, know what flaws are um, say uh, so how to create a flow flows are low code solutions it's uh, it's flows are so powerful these days it, they work like a trigger as well record triggers triggered flaws screen flaws you can design screen flaws the, the, you you can uh, create a platform event triggered flow and there are so many uh, features you can do with salesforce flows um, you should know what Salesforce flows are. You, you have to be thorough with the Salesforce flows functionalities. It's very important uh, to do that. Uh, it is a low-code solution from Salesforce. You don't have to do coding for Apex or don't have to create which lightning web components for that. Um, so that's the area you had to be thorough with.